Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Swapna here. Hope you all are doing well. It has been more than 10 days since I posted my last videos. Apologies for that, guys. I was a bit caught up with few of the prep works related to my exhibitions that are happening in Qatar. And finally, last weekend I decided to do this glass painting tutorial. Using the glass painting technique, I'll be painting on a perspex. To begin with, I've already drawn the design of a family of camel onto paper. Now I'm transferring this design onto the perspex using this black glass liner. You can feel free to use any branded glass liner according to the availability. After completely drawing this design, let it dry thoroughly before starting to paint. Here for a change, instead of a straight border, I am adding a curvy border like this. And also now I am dividing the background of this picture into three different portions to divide the sky, land and the sea. Once the design is thoroughly dried, I am starting to paint. To begin with, I am painting the sun portion using this opaque orange shade. All the details about the paints that I'll be using here will be added in the description below. Now for the sky portion, I'll be mixing two shades. One is ceramic blue, which will come in an opaque shade and also ultramarine blue. Both these paints are from the brand Pebio. If you have seen my previous glass painting videos, you must be knowing by now that I prefer to spread these glass paints using a skewer or a toothpick instead of using a brush. If you are a beginner to glass painting, you can see few of my previous videos where I am even using glass paints which can be directly applied from the bottle itself. As I mentioned previously, this is one such paint, it's a solvent based glass paint coming from the brand Camel and these paints are really fluid and can be applied directly using this nozzle of this bottle. I'm applying this bright yellow shade for the sand portion. Now I let the whole painting dry for some time. And then I'll start adding the details using this glass liner and liquid embroidery tubes. For this detailing part, you can feel free to add any sort of freehand designs or motifs. I'm using various shades like orange, golden yellow, blue and green to add these details. You might have noticed that I haven't applied paint in this portion of camel's body.
Once the detailing is finished, I let it dry thoroughly. Now comes the interesting part of adding the burlap cloth. And this is why I left this camel's body without painting. So that you can see through this interesting texture of the burlap cloth. Since we have given a really vibrant and contrasting background shades, it will complement to the textured portion of this camel. Now to finish off this painting, I'll add dots throughout this curvy portion of the border. And also I'll add few more details in this portion of the clouds, sea waves and sand. And this is how I finish this painting and I'll be keeping it on a ready-made rectangular shape frame with a 5 cm matte borders and I'll keep the burlap cloth as background like this. Even if you are giving the painting to a framer, you can suggest him to do in a similar manner. And this is how gorgeous the details are looking. You can see how the textured background is complementing the vibrant colors. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment and share this video. And if you are new here, please consider joining the small creative family by pressing that subscribe button. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the notifications from this channel. Thank you so much for watching.